So a pharmacist collaborative practice agreement is a formal agreement between a licensed provider who would make diagnoses and supervise patient care and then they could refer to a pharmacist underneath the protocol and the pharmacist would be able to change medications, stop medications, start anything that they would want to, order labs within a specific scope of practice. And this is a really great opportunity for pharmacists to leverage their pharmacy services um, and help coordinate care. There's a few barriers to implementing collaborative practice agreement. I think the biggest one is having a strong relationship with the provider that you want to have a, have a collaborative practice agreement with. The problem with that is that it can take a lot of time to develop trust and make sure that the provider feels very comfortable, but it's a very important step. Some other barriers could be that pharmacists right now don't have provider status. so. It's very difficult for pharmacists to bill for their services under Medicare Part D. Um, a few other barriers could be that a lot of patients don't fully understand the expanded scope of pharmacists. So when you're interacting with a patient, it might be the first time that they've interacted with a pharmacist like that. The last barrier is that there's a lot of different state laws for collaborative practice agreements. So depending on the state that you're interacting in, you have to really pay attention to every single law that is particular to that state. So there are so many best practices for implementing collaborative practice agreement. We have the Asheville project, we have the Diabetes 10 City Challenge, and time and time again, it shows that pharmacists can improve patient care, reduce costs, and help with preventative care. Um, a few of the other studies actually do help to show that physicians are supportive of pharmacists when they have the opportunity to work with them. And I think there's a big stigma that physicians really don't respect pharmacists or, or think that they're trained enough. And, in the experience from that program, um, and also in my own experience, once the pharmacist can get comfortable with the physician, they feel much more um, comfortable to work with them to, to sign a collaborative practice agreement.